Atlanta's Inspiration Station, Praise 102.5's Katie Bo Show. In the studio with the one, the only, light-skinned wonder. I want to say that. I don't know how they just jumped out there. <laughs> Sister Perry, how you doing, sis? I'm doing good, Katie. Thank you so much for letting me on the show today. It's to good talk to have you. Guys. Thank you for having me. It's like you're a mixture of Dorinda Clark Cole oh and, my Dor- Dor- and Darlene McCoy. You got oh just a mixture of pretty all up in there. <laughs> so let, we're going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, okay. First off the top of my head, do you are you cool with people still calling you Pebbles? And when people call you Pebbles, how do you? I am. I answer to both. Now, when I first got saved, I was like, I'm not Pebbles. You know what I mean? I went through this whole, no, I'm not Pebbles. I'm totally changed. And I was truly changed and transformed over time. Uh, the Lord had to start teaching me, no, no, daughter. Being pebbles is what we call a testimony from oh. how you got from here over to the bridge over here. Okay. And that is vital for people to know how I work. Wow. That I will touch a life and change you, that you didn't come from this. So then when you prophesy, when you lay hands, when you speak and miracles happen over people, who did that then? This brings me glory. Yeah. You have to use pebbles in order to show them how she became Sister Perry. Wow. See, my past and where I came from, you know, to most people in the secular realm and to myself, I, I did a lot of great stuff. Mm. Uh, my music is still loved, thank God. I believe he kept my music alive all these years, my Pebbles records, um, that I didn't even get a chance to do too many records because I moved into the other area of being a visionary. Right. Um, but people still reach out and talk but nothing trumps where I am now. I love it. Where I have been in this for 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. Okay, I was going to yeah. ask you that. So, I've been off for like 11 years, 10 years. Really? Yeah. In my wilderness, desert. Um, you think that you're where you're supposed to be, and then they're still training. They're still learning. They're still suffering. There's a word that God has been birthing in me called, don't give up the cup. And the cup is the cup of suffering. Hmm. If Christ would have gave up that cup, when he went and said, Father, Father, if you will, remove this cup. But nevertheless, your will be done. Yeah. If he would have given up that cup of suffering, of what he was having to face at that moment, then we wouldn't be here today. Wow. So he's saying, daughter, don't give up the cup. Allow the cup of suffering to be filled to the brim. And when it's time, let it be spilled. Not yet. When it gets spilled. That's what you've been preaching for, like, how long? Well, this is, well, I preach a lot of stuff like that. I'm about to say, they, 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 they ain't shouting over that one. Ain't nobody really shouting no, over that one. Other. Yeah, oh, yeah, they need to. You know why? <laughs> because it will, it will birth gold in you. Wow. What I have inside of me of what my suffering for the good has produced okay. far outweighs anything I've ever seen or done in my life. So, so, Sister Perry, you, you no, no longer go by Pebbles, but, you know, people call you Pebbles, it's both. fine. Yeah. So, would you, so if, if uh, an old school concert comes through and they're like, uh, you know, Pebbles and, you know, uh, Howard Hewitt and, you know, uh, I don't know, Sherelle, uh-huh. and, and on one stage, would you still do the old school concert or no? I don't think, you see, you know how many years people have been trying to get me, come on tour, come on, you're the only one that's not out here. When you are so far into a secret place with God, mm. he will remove from you and strip from you. See, my, my, you will forever be battling this flesh. And I have bumped my head a million times during my walk. In these Do you think that there would be flesh if you did that, though? Um, not if it, I, if I was trying to go up there and I'm going on tour and I'm just doing this whole thing, I, I think that would be out of his will for me. I see. If I were to go and maybe Face and I showed up and we sung on a show somewhere, Love Makes Things Happen, I don't think that's, you know. Come on, dropping the hits. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying that I don't, that's a moment. Gotcha. So a moment to me is acceptable. But for me to pull away from what my mandate is for the people of God I when see. they're in great distress, I, see. I think that would be out of God's will for me. So you, your prophetess, Sister Perry, when yes. did you realize that you had the prophetic gift on your life from day one really yeah tell me about it well well first of all as pebbles i knew too much i knew i had gifts mm. i could look at people and go oh okay this is what we need to do da da da, da. Mm. and i could see people's gifts okay. in the raw okay you know i could see what wasn't done yet and that's how i was able to select artists producers writers wow. you know uh train people 
uh, without being formally trained myself. So mm-hmm. that means I was operating in multiple gifts. Well, it shows itself now in the apostolic and the prophetic because I tra- I am in multiple gifting in the fivefold gifting. Really? So, oh, you'd have to see it to really, really, really know. Um, I am a living witness that God is real. I'm a demonstrator in God. I am somebody that uh, is used greatly in demonstration and he- healing and deliverance, casting devils out and all kinds of For how long? How long has that been? 22 years. Really? I've been off out of the pulpit for like 10, but never out of my call. What do you mean out of the pulpit? Meaning my services. I didn't have my services the last 10 years. The first 11 years, I had my Tuesday night revivals. And then God told me I had learned everything I needed to know. It was training me, you know, and people were being blessed and healed at the same time. Mm. And so after that, you know, I see now why uh, with some of the things I was going to have to face coming forward, I didn't know. Um, My sister passing and me having to go stay in California where I came from six years ago. So, again, I see where God allowed for certain things to happen. Okay. Um, But eight months ago. He told me that it was time for me to come back to the line and that I had to make myself available for his people again because they were in distress and they had need of the gifts that he put in me and that it was going to get worse and that I had to avail myself to the Mm. move of God again. And so he told me, um, and even using prayer people around me, Minister Mesa, who's what we call the prayer force um, that worked with me, she was like, Sister Perry, you need to do this prayer uh, line and Periscope. I was like, nah, I'm not really into that. I don't know if I want to do that or whatever. Right, and God right. said, no, I want you to do the prayer line and Periscope. He told me then, my people are not being healed. Healed? In church. He mm-hmm. was saying there are too many people going to the altar and leaving wounded still. Mm-hmm. I want my people to receive my healing. You would have to be acquainted then with the anointing. It is the anointing that destroys yokes and lifts burdens. You would have to know God in that way. Mm. That's where that suffering becomes very important. That suffering produces an oil in you that is for the healing of the people. You feel that anointing moving now? Yeah. Yeah. You can't get that unless you suffer for the good. You, You just cannot get that level and that layer. You feel the anointing. Now, What's going to trip you out is when I say healing waters come forth and you begin to feel these waters move on you. See, this is the kind of stuff. The water on you? Uh, spiritual water, where you can feel in the spiritual realm. Okay, I was just, you know. I'm telling you, watch this. It's going to happen okay. up here if you want it to. Range me off, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> With the power of the Holy Ghost. Right, right. It, that's who's doing it. But, but what I'm saying to you is, how does God give this type of wonder of demonstration to people who are not disciplined in understanding suffering and knowing who he is for real. How were you raised? I did not get raised in church. That's first. I got baptized as a kid, went to a play once or twice. That was it. So I did not know uh, that I was saved. When I got set free at 33 and uh, the Lord finally spoke to me and revealed himself to me, what did that, what was he that like? He said to me, well, that was, that was deep. He said to me, <clears throat> you have always been mine. You just didn't know it. The enemy had blinded that sight. At 33. He showed me, yeah, at 33, he, when, when uh, someone came and had to pray a prayer of deliverance over me, I didn't know what that was. And I was waiting for something big to happen. And I was like, where's the lightning and stuff? I thought something big was supposed to happen. Right, I right. didn't know. And she was like, well, no, it happened. I sat there quiet and wouldn't move. Well, obviously, after he began to work with me, he, he worked with me privately. He mean God? God or? Okay. Privately for one year. And then he told me to start my meetings. And I was like, but I don't know the scriptures or anything. But what people don't know, this is how real God is. He will meet you right where your torment is. Mm. I called my bedroom, my jail, and my bed, my cell. I couldn't move. He really? met me in my torment. In you, my pain. You, I was heartbroken. You physically couldn't move? Yeah, I physically just could not really. Yeah, my whole, I didn't know about demonic oppression. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. I didn't know about demonic oppression in the natural would look like depression. Sure. But it wasn't caused 
by depression. It was caused by oppression of Demonic, something trying. Of course, yeah. I did not know about that kind of stuff. And so a man or a woman of God came. and, and A woman of God came, and I kept trying to get to the church. I didn't know. Listen, people of God, I was in such torment and such pain and so heartbroken and just shattered in my heart because I'm such a, I love people. You know what I mean? I give my all. Right. So when something bad happens, I, it, it just... A person that gives their all and doesn't put a guard up is kind of dangerous. You it's know what I'm saying? Dangerous. It's very dangerous yes. to do. And so I remember leaving the house one day. I used to always get migraines in my room and stuff. And I'd be like, I, I got to get out of here. One day I went driving into Buckhead and I just sat and had lunch by myself. And I was like, but on the way to the restaurant, I just started talking out loud. I didn't know I was praying, but I said, God, I want to know you. And you, how old were you when this 33. happened? 33. Okay, yeah. all this happening around the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 33. I said, I want to know you, and and if you send me somewhere small, I'll go. Because every time I go to the church for Easter or something like that, I start crying, and then the people stare at me, and I'm embarrassed, ashamed. Hmm. And so, because they're like, ooh, and whispering and pointing and stuff. And I understand. They're like, oh, that's that girl, the singer, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I was so ashamed I didn't want to go. You know what I'm saying? So I asked him to send me somewhere small. Mm. And about a week later, a friend of my son, Aaron, his friend was named Aaron, two Aaron's sure. mother called and said, you know, um, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I go to this church that just opened. There's only five people there. Would you like that? to go? So I knew instantly then that God had heard what I said. Wow. And that's how my journey started. And one, I kept trying to go Oof. to the church, and I couldn't get there. Something happened every single time. That's that demonic stuff. I mean, every time I tried to go, something happened. And then finally, I called him and said, I'm sorry, could you help me, please? Because every time I, come, I try to get there, something goes wrong. Can you possibly get the pastor to come to my house? And she said, sure, I'll call you back or whatever. And said, she said, she'll come. Well, the pastor came. And when she was talking to me, she said, she said, uh, well, are you ready to give your life over to Christ? I said, wait, 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 I have questions. I got a lot of questions. I don't know yeah. what this means. Yeah. You know, tell me what all this means. You know what I'm saying? And so it was just one thing after another. The woman kind of got frustrated and was about to walk out the door. And then all of a sudden, because I'd asked, well, she said, just cast your cares on the Lord. He, he's concerned for you. I said, what, how do you do that? Do you throw your hand up across the room? I literally was that ignorant of saying, what do you mean cast your cares on the Lord? I would ask the same Lord? thing, though. Yeah, I was like, what does that mean? How do you do that? I literally did not know how you do that. Right, right, right. And so uh, she finally started explaining, no, come as you are. When she said, come as you are, I got a little clarity. And finally, she was like, this girl had too many questions, so she was about to get up and leave. And all of a sudden, her body flipped around real quick, and she said, because the, the Holy Ghost arrested her, like, you better not leave this house. Okay, so she was, right. right. Okay. And turned back around, and, and I said, yes, and I threw my hands up, and then she prayed over me. Then I was like, where the lightning and stuff? Nothing happened. And then I was like, hmm, but I got real quiet. Now, as a minister, years later, I see that look all the time on people, so okay, now okay. I know what that is. Okay, okay. But do you know within days, I had my first encounter with God? Really? First thing, yes. My son brought paper and said, Mommy, leave this by your bed. And I said, why, son? He said, just leave it, Mommy, a little kid. You see, God will use your children. That's the second time you used my son. Wow. Used him to get the minister there, get me to a church. Second, get the minister there, which I finally went to church after that. But then second for my encounter. He brought the paper and said, leave it, mommy. He was about six. Mm. I was like, why, son? Just leave it, mommy. And later that evening, mm. this is that mm -hmm. deep stuff in God, y'all. So this mm. ain't no, this deep, is good. You know, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Uh, I, later, I, I sat up in my bed and I reached over and grabbed the paper and said, well, what am I about to do? Write a song or something like that? Because I don't feel like I'm about to write a song, but I'm reaching over and grabbing a pen. And I had an encounter with my eyes. I couldn't see anymore. And my hand just started writing on this paper. And when I was done and I looked at it, it looked like a psalm of David. Really? It was my first encounter with God. Was it an actual psalm? No. It was a psalm. Like it was uh, it's it, words. It was words. And it's and now I do prophetic writings I, for for 22 years. Okay. So he was giving me prophecy first in writing. Then he said, soon you'll speak it. And it happened. 
So he said, finally, you've come to greet your father. I have. I'm telling you, this. You, you, you are. Listen, you ain't a book. You a encyclopedia. Yeah, it's a lot going on over here. (laughs) But when you see it, when you experience it, you'll know instantly that oh no, the hand of God is on that lady's life. It's not me. Wow. The only part that's me is my voice box being used, my body suit being used, my heart being able to house the move of God, the love I have for God, the love I have for people. So for the enemy to try to make me look like an evil person, of course, that would be his publicity campaign. Sure. Why? Because the biggest thing that was going to happen in my life was the move of God. Mm. Let's try to make people not want to be uh, by this lady or near this lady so they don't get set free. Wow. That's wow. the real deal. It's time for everybody to open up their eyes to see. This secular stuff, that's cool, whatever. I don't spend a lot of time talking about the past because I've given too many of my years the past okay that's good i've I've given too many that's good yes i've got to focus on the move of god now. there are people who have had some pretty heinous things happen to them in the past yeah and stuff that and they can't get out their fault may not have been their fault right but it they can't move past it's hard what happened it's hard it's very hard it was hard for me it's it's toxic Toxicity gets in your body. What do, you, what do you do with it? I mean, do you, you cast that as well? I mean, well, what do you, you do? you do have to cast that out. You have to have prayer. How you do that? Yeah. And, well, you <laughs> how you do it is through the power of the Holy Spirit. You, throw your, like you throw you have to throw your hands up, get on your knees, you have to yeah. cry out. And then, you know, you have to have a heart-to-heart talk with God. Because I kept saying, God, I don't understand some of this, and why would you allow this? And he said, daughter, sometimes in order for you to be vindicated in things, you have to get hurt one more time around. Mm. Because this time, you're not the secular artist being hurt. You're the prophet of God. So it is, it is, I cannot allow you not to get this. My word Because there are some things that, to your point, there are some things that suffering will bring out of you. Yes, it will. And shed off of you. Yes, there's something that the rain will bring that the sunshine doesn't. That's exactly right. Okay. So God uses it. Romans 8 and 28 is right, people of God. And we know. He said, you need to know this. And we know. And we know. How do we know? You're going to have to go through something to know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I love it. So uh, tonight... Yes. Uh, it's going to be off the chain. Miracle gonna Mondays. Is yes. this going to be a series or what is this going to be? This is going to be something that's just starting tonight. We used to or have Tuesday Night Revival. Right. Everybody that knew of my ministry, and they had a fit. It was over uh, 10 years ago. Um, now, God, I was trying to tell you earlier, I forgot uh, to mention eight months ago, he brought me back saying, come back to the line. And this time in a prayer uh, phone call weekly, Oh, and the line. Okay. Periscope, right? So every Monday, six uh, West Coast, nine East Coast time, I'm on Periscope and on my prayer line. You can find it on Twitter. Are you on? Um, uh, are you on the East Coast or West Coast? Both. Oh. Yeah, I'm on both. And so, so I get on there every Monday. And that's where he said, this is miracles coming, miracles. And I released the healing waters. Let me tell you what he was saying to me. He was saying that his people were in desperate need of breakthrough, Mm. breaking chains, bondage, um, deliverance, and healing. People need miracles. They're going through so many different things. They need the help. He said, you have to come to the line and release what I have given to you. Mm. Because if people knew all these years that I'm sitting off to the sideline going through all this nonsense, and I, I operate in miracles. This is the stuff they need. He said, wow. you must, we've solved this, you must come to the line and help my people. Mm. Now watch this. Every Monday, what the Lord said to me is that he saw his people suffering too much without the healing balm being released. He said, I'm going to do it myself. I said, well, Father, what are you saying? He said, I want you to get on this line every week, and I, I want you to tell the people I said, I will send revival right to you Mm. at your home, wherever you are, while you're listening to the program. Every week, you could come on that line and receive a breakthrough. Every single week, there are testimonies. And I have the Periscopes you can go to. It's it's Sister Perry, show you how we're doing it. Sister Perry, a.k.a. Pebbles. 
you can go on there right now and and see the multiple. I've been on there for months now, multiple different scopes that I have where I stay on there sometimes three hours or so because really? it's a, that I have a revival mantle on me. So I'll go from one thing to another and teach and then prophesy and pray for people and send those waters. Now, would you not be in shock and awe if you're at home and then somebody sits over there and goes, lift your hands up, everybody. First, say this prayer of repentance because nothing's going to happen for you until we say this prayer of repentance. Mm-hmm. So we always do that. Once that happens, because that's how I've survived my uh, bumping my head and falling down sure. and all this. All, I, without God told me that was my saving grace. Repentance. Sure. Amen. So once that happens, then I'm able to begin to call things forward and send the angels of the Lord too. I, it's a wonder working ministry. Now, if you sitting at home, you're like, okay, we're going to try this with the woman of God, right? And then all of a sudden I say, okay, healing waters, come forth. Mm. And then I say, okay, healing waters, now go forth through the spiritual plumb line mm. God has put. And then all of a sudden you feel coolness, like that coolness is moving, wow. right? And it hits your body. Now what? What's happening now? The wonder of God has just been revealed. Now you got to start searching God out a little bit more, huh? Mm. Now all of a sudden what I spoke to you about breakthrough coming through it's starting to happen in your life. Now, all of a sudden, you have hope. Now, all of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute now. She cast the devil. She said, oh, well, the person that's on here with the left side of your head is doing this right here. Uh, do this. Get up and do that, and it's going to be gone. Boom, mm. it's gone. Well, what you going to do with like that? like that. Yes. We're not playing over so, here. So, basically, tonight. Yes. What you do on the on Periscope and on the, is it the Periscope and, and the, the telephone prayer line? line? Yes. And the prayer, the prayer line. Or the Periscope, and we love everybody coming on Periscope. Are you Periscoping tonight or no? Yes. Okay, yes. so, but you got a chance to be there live and experience yes. it. Yes. And you're going to be at the Hilton Hotel. Yes, airport, uh, at the airport. Yeah, at the airport, mm-hmm. Virginia Avenue. Um, parking is nine bucks. Man, get your nine bucks going out there. Yes. Uh, you got a, a lineup of people that's amazing. I'm going to tweet this out. Yeah. But uh, Apostle Dr. Debbie Armstrong. Yes. Uh, Bishop Kevin L. Adams Sr., which is an awesome. incredible man. Awesome. Oh, oh, my he is God. The truth. Now, wait a minute now. Okay. Bishop has a testimony. Really? Oh, my God. I have to I have to give you Bishop's testimony of the healing waters. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We can't get out of here without you hearing that. Bishop said, I'm somebody that don't believe in this kind of stuff. Really? Oh, my God. That's why he's on here. What? He said, uh, "He said, Sister Perry, pray for me. And she started talking about these healing waters and all the stuff that was going to happen. And all I know, he said, people, God, I'm telling you right now, I'm not anybody that knows me knows I'm a non kind of nonsense type person. I don't deal with a lot of, you know, nonsense. And I wasn't really into charismatic, all these wonders. All and that, stuff. Right. He said, except it happened to me. Mm. I experienced. You got to know that this is a level of deep yes. that a lot of people need. They, they might need, not know it, but they need it. They feel a little uncomfortable with it That's because they right. don't because they don't understand it. You know, but I don't know what that, that is. That would be that would be. It, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's called being a demonstrator. Yeah. See, the psychics and stuff are demonstrating mm. the power in they God. Mm. God's people are the ones with the real power, the yeah. authentic power. Wow. The raw power of God. That's what's coming in the room tonight. So uh, uh, you got uh, to hear Prophet, Bishop, yeah, uh, Prophetess Tara Carissa Hodges uh-huh. is going to be there. Yes. Uh, Carol, how do you say her name? Kanaki, Kanaki. And let me tell you why I bought uh, Carol Kanaki. Carol Kanaki used to uh, be on heroin, in and out of mental wards, mm. and then finally, for four years, became a Satanist. I'm bringing her forward because part of my I am God has commissioned me to do a Deliverance Institute one day. Deliverance Institute. Yes. Part, get people set free, taught how to maintain their freedom. And there will be a remnant from this group that will become deliverance workers after I impart and teach us a school that's going to be there. Wow. This is a worldwide global vision that God has given me. Listen, you, people is, don't yeah. know that a lot of what they're doing in New Age and all this stuff, they have turned to witchcraft. Uh. So I'm like, I'm going to tell you what, God, you find me somebody, show me somebody who's not dabbling, who's really, really, really saved. And let me bring that person in. As a, a former something who's truly saved, who wow. can say, let me tell you what we did to y'all Christians. Let me tell you what we know about you guys. And let me tell you how we come in and infiltrate your churches. Let me show you what you, because the people of God have to be shaken up out of some of this nonsense. Um, there is so much stuff that's happening. So we have people coming forward. You're dealing with apostles. We also have apostle Ronald um, Harden is coming. We've got some along with the bishop. But let me tell you something. 
See, Bishop would have been brought forth. Bishop has a book called uh, Are You Marriage Material? So he's going to come forth and talk to everybody about that, right, from a man's perspective. But he's going to give that but testimony. Gonna, yes, he'll probably give his testimony as well. Where are you but from let me say, the Bay Area. I've been hearing Berkeley. something in your throat that sound country, though. It's, a it's out country. here. I've been out here for 20-something years. Okay, but we yeah. that, we're in that country. I'm just no, saying, but you got then little I got a little twang. <laughs> no, that's my twang. That's my ATL twang. I didn't been around it. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to no, ask you. but that no, but when I'm in Cali, they're like, "So you're from the South, right?" I'm like, I can't hear myself. I guess sometimes. Yes, yeah, a little bit. But you know. I'm a no, I'm a I'm way bit. I think because I'm I'm originally from Oakland, Berkeley, California. That's mm. where I'm from. Okay, the Bay. And then I came out here. Yeah, so I was shoot what 29 years ago. I mean, I spent majority of my life probably in ATL. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe the Lord needed you on this side so he can Listen, make that deposit in you like that. I think so, because this is where the ministry was born in me. Wow. wow. Then he sent me back to where I came from, which yeah, which Lord. will indicate to you being commissioned. Wow. Usually when God is about to send you, he will bring you back to where you come from, like he did Moses. Seven o'clock tonight to midnight. Yes. Yes. All right. Seven o'clock to midnight, but be prepared uh, to gonna experience be what you're saying is we, we're we going to encounter the raw power. The raw power, girl. Let me explain something to you. And listen, I'm a demonstrator. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, you got to prove God to people. He yeah. told me at the top of the year, manifest my manifestations, manifesto. I said, God, what do you mean? He said, prove me. Give them evidence, demonstrator. Manifest my, my manifestations, manifesto. Wow. So the manifesto, he said, is the demonstrator. Yeah. In other words, people, this, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, for you specifically and anybody that, that, that knows Bishop Adams, mm. you know that's a serious man of God. Indeed. When you hear Bishop Adams' testimony, you're going to freak <laughs> out because Bishop gives it raw, flat, and really? raw, and says, no, you people don't understand you could have never made me believe nothing like this. I gotta get him on the phone. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hear this. I'm telling you. Yeah, I gotta hear ask this. Ask him. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> he okay. will be all with right. us right. on tonight. Okay. And good. He's bringing people from his church, Olivet Baptist Church in Chattanooga. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be amazing. So tonight yes. at the Hilton Hotel by the airport, 7 p.m. to, to yes. midnight. Um, Prophetess, Sister Perry, I, I appreciate you for stopping Thank by. Thank you. And people get in contact with you simply by. Well, first of all, have them go to eventbrite.com oh, okay. to get the tickets, right? Gotcha. I also want to announce that we have a donor who is um, going to donate, who has donated for, uh, the, the tickets are $20 and $35 if it's VIP. Sure. Um, then you get all kind of little stuff with that, but which is great stuff, actually. But for general admission uh, price, I wanted to announce on here that 25 people can get in for free. Really? If they come and say, I believe it and I receive it. I believe it and, and I, I receive, receive it. it. Which is on our t-shirts for Miracle Monday. That's so you don't want them to call. That's all they got to do. Hit nope. Before they get there, well, nope. you know, just come and say, I believe it and I, I receive, receive it. I receive it. Okay. I would say come anyway because you never know what God to do for yeah, you. You know, I get okay. in anyway. So I just believe don't it. Push the envelope. Bring, <laughs> you bring, know bring your twenty twenty dollars. Yeah. Bring your twenty dollars or thirty five dollars just in but, case. Right. You know. <laughs> but you should be somebody believed it before you. Exactly. I believe it and I receive it, and you can get in for free. That I love is somebody it. donated, um, which is in the future what I really and that's, want to do. Tell me the number again. Twenty five tickets. Twenty five. Twenty five tickets. tickets. Ooh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. It's gonna be powerful, powerful, powerful. You will receive uh, wisdom mm. from some generals in the kingdom, and this is kingdom business. Mm. This is not showmanship and all. Come uh, comfortable. I will be wearing Adidas in my shell toes because okay. we're about to work. Okay. Okay. Not the look. We're about to work. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Get very, I'm very impressed with you. Well, uh, you, 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 you got a level of deepness on you. You know, you came here, you had the shades on, yeah. you know, you got, like, the, I my got the eyeballs got, got, got are burning. Whole, We've been up all night. Uh, you're right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> got your old, uh, uh, Beyonce, the oh the Clark Cole, uh, <laughs> Darlene McCoy thing going on. I said, hey, how you doing? You gave, oh, you gave it, you shake the hand. How like you that. doing? And, and uh, come in here, you just a ball of, of power. And I'm, I'm excited about Thank what God is doing in your life. And Thank I'm even more so excited much. to see 
uh, what he's going to do as you continue to move forward. Thank you so much. And, hey, come on in tonight if you want to listen. This is about to be off the chain. The bishop will be there. Y'all, so, okay, so, okay. So, let me just, for me, I don't mind coming. Probably will still come. Yeah. But all that, you see, but sometimes it's, I got an intercessor that I, I, I love her. Lord knows I love her to life. Yeah. But but she, when she prays with you, it's like she she's a, you know people like wail when they pray? Yeah, yeah. And so she wants you to wail too, I guess, and I'll be like. You wail, don't wail, it's coming through anyway. I can't really, I ain't really <laughs> got all that in my throat. You know, listen, the, 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 I don't the wail, wail like, that. like they do. Okay. But let me say this to you. Well, God is, it, and I can't leave up out of here without doing some praying. Okay. If this is all going on air, let me tell you something. It's through the demonstration of the power of God. Okay. All that right. people will be moved to understanding things. It confounds the wise even. Um, I don't have to do the welling. I'm a worshiper though. Mm. And so God uses that in me. But uh, it's the heart. It's the willingness of the heart. And see, well, people don't understand. You can get a certificate. You can get letters behind your name. You can get all kinds of stuff. However... It is only God who anoints people. Indeed. You cannot get that from anything else other than God, even if someone who's anointed is used to impart in you and activate your gifting. It still would have to be God who decided that you would have that gift. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? I do know Let's what pray you're together. Come yes, on, people please, of God. Let's pray. Uh, first, before we do anything, everybody repeat after me. Mm. Father, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to forgive me of all my everything sins. I've said or everything done, said or done, or even thought, or even thought that's been unpleasing in your sight. Been unpleasing. I repent sight. before you right now. I repent. Before I ask you, you right to touch now. me from the crown of my head. I ask you to touch me from to the, the soles of, of my feet. The soles of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name. It's of simple Jesus. as that. Harobo shareba shandara. Lift your hands. Everybody that wants to receive this blessing. Father God, we just thank you right now. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for the people of God. I thank you for the man of God. I thank you for Brother Derek. I thank you for your door of favor. And now I thank you that you will send in a demonstration to your people. Touch those who are in need right now. Abba, Father in heaven, place thy glory cloud in this dwelling. And in all the dwelling places of those who are listening, in Jesus' name, leave those hands up. And, oh, Father, healing waters come forth now in the mighty name of Jesus. And now go forth and touch, thank you, each and every person in need. You'll feel coolness around your hips and legs and knees. You should be feeling it now. Go forth, touch rushing waters, move. Let healing come forth to those in need. Call out what your need is, people of God. Believe God, because he's real. And if he do this to me, I wonder what he'd do to and for you. And we bless you, Father. We bind up any hindrance. Mm. We bind up right now any powers of darkness that would try to keep them waters from moving. But I feel it now. In the It's a coolness, people of God, that might wrap itself around your body, around your waist. Move, healing waters, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm telling you, you should amen. feel it around your feet, amen. your ankles. Put my hands down. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I'm make sure, you know, you keep your hands up. I, 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 I'm put them down, <laughs> Sister Perry, I appreciate yes, you. Thank you for thank stopping you, by. Baby. And tonight, 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 Miracle yes. Monday's live yes. Hilton Hotel Monday's Airport. Live, uh, check it out online at yes. Eventbrite or online at mm -hmm. wogcl.org. And Again. eventbrite.com is where you can get the tickets. And then we have the 25 Tickets free for those that come, there that 25 that say, I believe it and I receive it. You can get in there for free. You don't want to miss this. This is the first one. For people that know about my ministry and God, uh, we did Tuesday night. This is Miracle Monday. God's not going to give you a name, tell you to be somewhere, and not show up. How about that? Yes. Come on now. Yes. I appreciate you for stopping well, we, by. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. God bless you. It's the Katie Vo Show on Praise. Amen.